Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another quick tutorial. We are going to look at this little drumming here. It's more like this a progressive house or EDM drumming. You can also use it for future house, but like it's part of this track here that has like EDM elements. <laughs> And there's actually a course on how to make this track. Check the description for that one. And in this video here, we are just going to talk about the drumming and how to set it up. We're going into a new area here, down here, and I'm starting with the kick. So we have a kick. I'm going to copy it here. It's We're working with audio in this case, and it's an EDM kick from our Deep Premium Volume 2 pack. It's uh, and a kick. They're sorted in deep tech and EDM. It's kick EDM 19. Let me like close this to see more of the pattern. So this is our kick, and I'm going to duplicate it four times. Command D, Command D, Command D, or right click duplicate, however you want to do this. And it's actually processed here. And actually it's also like there's a chain on the master, so I'm going to take this off. I'm also going to take this off quickly. So this is how we start. And to make it a bit more snappy, I'm using an EQ8. And I'm taking off some of those mid frequencies here. Like all this stuff sounds a bit too like wooden or boxy. Kind of want to work without that. And I'm also adding a bit of high shelf here. Well, this auto filter is just for song purposes in the arrangement. Sometimes the kick is not playing all the way down. It's just playing sometimes like this, like a top kick. And the next element we are playing is a snare sample. Typical trick is to have that snare play a bit earlier. It's also the premium volume 2 snare sound and that one is, uh, you know, it's we have this track delay here. If you open that up, you can delay a track compared to all the other tracks that are playing and make sure it's coming in a bit too early, which in drumming always sounds quite interesting and a bit more like a natural drummer. If I loop this area, and we just play around with this snare positioning. You know, we can position it like this. Okay, that's not exact, so do this. But actually, it's kind of easier to do that with this track delay function here. And that's why I like working outside of the drum rack because if you have separate tracks for your audio and for your drum elements, you can actually like move them around with the track delay function. That's a huge benefit. You can make it sound more interesting like that. And let's just move this one a bit further in front because minus means before the other one. Still sounds kind of nice at minus 12 actually. Well, let's keep it at minus four because we have another element combined with that. But first, put on a hi-hat. I'm taking that one here. It's playing with the kick.
and we just put that one on top of our kick and then make it quite quiet. So the upper part of the kick cuts through in the mix. And now let's command D, duplicate this. Okay, the next element is a clap, another clap combined with the snare. A very, like, this sample, you know, it has like three claps or four claps after one another. And it adds those necessary high frequencies to the clap sound and to the second position of our drums pattern. And we are rolling off some low end here. And also play it again in the second position. Okay, cool. And also an offbeat hi-hat. See, I'm always rolling off low end with this EQ8 here to make sure we're not interfering with other stuff in lower frequencies to leave room for them and not pile up too much audio information there. The next thing is this pre-clap element. I'm going to copy this one as well. It's just a, a pre-clap, like a short start of a clap sample. And that one is also moved a bit more to the front. So if we count milliseconds, here we are roughly at 332 or 33 and minus 12 milliseconds actually moves this clap to 21 so here this is actually where it's lying even if we can't see it here in the arrangement view this is where this delay moves it to so it's coming a bit earlier than all the other elements let's listen to it in solo it's just very short snip But notice the difference, it sounds so much more groovy with that element. It's really getting punchy that way and really makes you kind of move your legs to it. Okay, so there we are, very basic drumming, you know, not too many elements, but very clear and concise elements. You have this kick, you have a like a hi-hat supporting the kick in the higher frequencies, and then we have a little bit of a combination of a snare and a clap sound and this pre-clap here, making sure it's punchy. And also an offbeat hi-hat, which kind of depends a bit on what kind of track you're making. Sometimes you're trying to get that more short, and sometimes more longer or white noise-ish kind of thing, whatever you need in your track. And well, in this case here, I went for this because in this part here, I have this nice bass playing along. playing this pattern with the bass if you're wondering.
and you can get this bass sound with our future house massive preset pack if you're interested you can also get all these drum sounds and many more with our d premium volume 2 drum sample pack so anyways i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial here feel free to subscribe to our channel to see more of these types of videos here and go to productionmusiclive.com our website supporting this youtube channel here and i hope to see you next time hey this is production music live in this course we are producing a professionally sounding progressive house track from start to finish. We are using Ableton Live and Massive. Feel free to join these lessons and you'll be able to watch all tutorials at your own pace as many times as you want and then use the techniques for your own music. First, we are generating ideas to write our chord progressions and melodies. We will come up with powerful and groovy drum patterns. We are customizing our sound designs. Then we will focus on adding character to our track with effects, fills and transitions. We will turn our first loop idea into a full song arrangement. In the end, we will focus a great deal on the final mixing and mastering stages as we finalize our production. So let's get started.